Hey guys, I'm Ozia, and today we're going to do something a little bit different, a little bit different content. I'm in a creative world at the moment, with uh, creative powers of course, and what we're going to do right now is we're going to do a little bit of uh, playing with um, Reactor Craft. So we're going to look into some of the, uh, how you, oh, not that one, how you go about creating um, some fission uh, reactors. And let's see, we're gonna need some fuel, got pools, steam boilers, gonna need some steam lines, yep. Uh, what else? We're gonna need a steam grate. Uh, we need, where is it? The rotors, yes, we need that. Yeah, what else are we gonna need? Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. It's a heavy water bucket. No. Okay, uh, 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 condenser, yep. So you see that for the time being. <coughs> Okie dokie, so obviously you want to start with a fuel core. You want to build off the ground a little bit. No, actually, let's build, let's build a little bit further up. Yep, okay. And we want to put some. F no, do we want to put fuel on it yet? No, hmm. We need to put a steam boiler. Oh, not that one, steam boiler. So the idea here is we want to put fuel in here, heat up the steam boiler, which will have water running through it. So let's just get uh, some water running through it. So let's do it with a uh, good old um, yeah, fluid pipes. Fluid. Uh, next one. Oh, there it is. Fluid pipe. So you can do it this with uh, thermal expansion stuff. Uh, it should be this one. Fail. Yeah, doop, 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 doop. Do this far enough away so we can build something big. Uh, I'm gonna need a, a water source. Go water, bucket, yep. Um, bottle tank. Creative, of course. Uh, water in it. Where's the crescent hammer when you need one? Crescent. that anymore. <coughs> oh, not that one. There we go. Uh, let's get an angular transistor so we can just get some readouts. Angular. Okay. So we're getting water in there. Yep. Okay, time to get this thing hot. Okay, it's going to need a bit more than that. As you can see, those things are a little bit dangerous if you get in the way in the real world, so avoid them. It's not going to get any hot because uh, they're not going to interact with other cores. So let's put some more cores in. So we've got two next to one another. Not really going to make much of a change. Oh, there we go. Up to about 40 degrees. So two of them will get you about 40, one gets you about 25. So three should get you about 70, right? Actually no, uh, in fact this one affects this one, this one affects that one in the first two. But now they're actually affecting this one, this one, and this one affects two. So they should increase temperature quite a bit. Apparently not. Okay. Let's go a little bit more. Okay, now the one on the corner should get the hottest now. Is it going to get any hotter? Yep, there we go. Up to about 70. Okay, I'm going to need to get about 100 before it actually does anything. Okay, up there. Let's see, 40, 40 50 or so. This one should get 90. So we're almost at the 100 degree mark. <coughs> okay, let's just go a little bit more to make it uniform. Fuel there, fuel there, and fuel there. So we should be getting, yep, 100 degrees. That means uh, the temperature should go under here. As you see, it just went over 104, which means it is creating steam at the moment. 
So we're gonna run the steam line off the top, drag it up the top. Okay, do, do, do. do it over here so we have enough room to work. Okay, then steam grate. And there's our steam getting away. Uh, use a reactor core just to. Whoop. Five should be the maximum rotors, yep. There we go, excellent, excellent. Now let's get a dynamo on there. Do -do. Dynamo. I'm guessing about maybe 70 million watts, maybe. If I put it on the right direction. What do we get? Yeah, okay, so that's not 70 million. Hmm. Um, it will actually you know it'll go down because this thing was uh essentially building up steam before we put the gas pipe in steam pipe in okie dokie so we're getting 400 million okay let's see if we can uh let's see increase the amount of steam we get out of this thing Okay, this thing should get quite hot. Very hot. Doop. Doop. Uranium belt, yay! Okay, that one, no, this one, there we go. This one, this one, this one, this one. That is the reactor getting very hot. <laughs> Uh, let's see what temperature we're getting now. <laughs> okay, wait up. Uh, I'm in version 19, and last time I did this, there we go. It, some random reason, it creates random radio craft items, re reactor craft items. Look, yeah, yeah. How you order a tractor? That's weird. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. Uh, let's pull these down. And that there is Corum, which I do believe should kill me if I take Create off. off. Oh dear, radiation. Okay, radiation sickness. It probably has no time. Does it kill me or not? That's weird. <laughs> okay, guys. Well, that, I guess that's a, a reactor exploding. So, <laughs> uh, so basically, with the reactor, pretty much all you need is a like a eight cores. It's pretty much sufficient. Uh, going more than that, you'll probably get uh, what that just that happened. So I would say uh, go with eight. Start with eight, and if you want more power, uh, start separating the heat sources. Also, that's also a uh, a heat exchanger, uh, a nuclear disposal waste canister. Hmm. Okay, I think that's about it for there, guys. Uh, I hope you like the sort of change um if you want me to try and build anything in creative uh let me know and uh yeah i'll get on to it so until next time guys yeah.